All right, good morning. As people come in, uh, we will start this uh, second round of keynotes uh, with a very interesting twist, which is how does cloud native impact adjacent areas and technology? So that's the focus of this whole section of keynotes, and you will understand and appreciate how different open source projects within a, uh, uh, the Linux Foundation are working together to enable this uh, phenomena. What I'm going to talk about today are three things, and I call it the new world of open source networking, edge, and IoT. And this new world has three characteristics. The first one is telecom networks globally have now chosen open source to be their de facto platform. That's number one. Number two, the cloud is moving to the edge. And edge is going to be unified across not just the cloud, but cloud networks, telecom, enterprise, and IoT. It's going to be a common edge. So we'll talk about that built on open source. And number three, there are interdependencies between projects across cloud native and other technologies. So I'm going to cover all three. Let me start off with the telecom networking part. Open source is going to be the de facto way how global networks are built. Why do we know that? The journey started with SDN and NFV several years ago. I was one of the first ones in that journey. That journey led to disaggregation, where you had a choice of hardware and software. It moved to automation and orchestration of the entire network, zero touch, last year. And then this year is about open collaboration with the cloud native and containerization. And to help with this journey, Linux Foundation, Linux Foundation Networking specifically, is very proud to host nine of the top 10 projects, top 10 open source projects. We have operators and end users participating that account for almost 70% of the global mobile subscribers, including the top three from China here, top China Mobile, China Telecom, China Unicom, and all the vendors that are in networking, right? So this is just the board of LF networking, but huge momentum here. And that momentum has been recognized through deployments. Open source is deployed in some of the largest carriers, and specifically projects like ONAP, that Jim talked about, Open Network Automation Platform, which was created through the collaboration of China Mobile and AT&T a couple of years ago, and now is the de facto platform, right? Geo, Reliance Geo, the fastest growing LTE network in, in India, is using that. AT&T, China Mobile, Bell Canada, Orange, you know, you name it. There's, there's huge focus on deployment. And the thing that I personally like is the how open source is developed. And I call it diversity across people, communities, geographies, and companies. So you can see some of the panels. We had an all-female panel, keynote panel. These are technical leaders in the ONAP community, right? They own the TSC. We had meetups, including last year here in Shanghai. So and then on the right-hand side, you can see from the colors that various companies are contributing from the first release to the releases afterwards. So it's very important from a diversity perspective. And the focus areas on networking for this year in terms of open source are two things. One is compliance and verification, and the other one is standards and open source harmonization. So let me take two minutes to explain those. In the world of telcos, if you're a China Mobile, China Telecom, China Unicom, or anyone in, in the world, 
the thing on the left is what you have to deal with. You get a VNF or a virtual network function or a workload or an app, right? Load balancers, firewalls, evolve packet core. You get that from one vendor. You get the orchestrator from another vendor. You get the virtual infrastructure manager from another vendor. And you get the hardware and NFVI that we call it from another one. And then you have to onboard and test. What LF Network King's OVP program that just got launched will do is simplify the whole life cycle by 50%. Okay, it will be based on ONAP and OPNFE. And we are working with GSMA to help this standardized NFVI. Huge, huge progress in the community to simplify deployment. The second important thing we are doing in networking is to make sure that standards and open source work collaboratively. We have white papers that are just refreshed that explain how the communities work. And we are now the showcase for standards and open source collaboration, whether it's MEF, TMF Forum, ORAN, Etsy, GSMA. We are the standard, and we work with them very, very closely. Now, that's the core networking, which is now automated, and it is, needs to be automated before 5G hits. Now, let's move to the edge. When we move to the edge, today, you have a fragmented edge. You have a cloud edge, you have an IoT edge, you have an enterprise edge, and now you have a telco edge. We believe that there needs to be a unified edge. And so we announced in 2019 an umbrella project called LF Edge, which is hugely supported by, by you folks here in China, that unifies the different edge communities. It was found by five founding members, founding projects, and 60 founding members. Now, today we are up to seven, including Baidu's Open Edge, which is going to be contributed into LF Edge. We're at 70 plus now, and we are working very closely with a lot of uh, standardized community. So this is how you know, Edge looks at uh, the landscape. So you can see from the top, you've got to collaborate with ORAN. Then you have a project in Home Edge, which is the software that unifies the uh, appliances inside the edge. Then you have Eve, which is the on-prem edge, comes into an Acrano blueprint, which is another project that glues everything together, and then moves into the core, running ONAP. ONAP works with Kubernetes and OpenStack, and then works with all the standards. Looks complex, but it is very, very nicely laid out. Okay? And so that brings me to my third and very important point, which is we're not living in the world of isolation. Cloud native is not on its own. Networking is not on its own. Edge, blockchain, Cloud Foundry, these are all platforms that are collaborating, and it's very important. So I'm going to give you a few examples here. The first one is uh, LF Networking is working very closely with Kubernetes to figure out how we can do a hybrid migration of VMs or VNFs to CNFs, okay? And CNFs are cloud-native functions. They have a very specific characteristics, and we want to move them along. How does that happen? We have test beds. We have ONAP working groups that collaborate, and they will come up with a solution for that, okay? Later on today, we'll have Brian talk about you know, blockchain. And this technology is extremely relevant to telecom. And we have the telecom SIG that will work closely with the LF networking. So these are just, and, and here are the use cases. So these are just examples of projects and umbrellas working together to collaborate and make things happen. And when we make things happen, the stack looks very simple. At the end of the day, End users make money from these services, cloud services, residential services, enterprises services, or IoT AI services. And they run those services on infrastructure, data centers, carrier networks, cloud networks, and public or hybrid or private, doesn't matter. And then the layer in the middle is the plumbing. That's the glue. That needs to be automated, and that's the project focus for LF networking, LF Edge, Kubernetes, LF AI, LF Edge. 
Okay? So that's kind of the whole picture. So from my perspective, the key takeaways for this year in 2019, this is the year of collaboration. Okay? And in telecom networks, open source has won. There is no more proprietary um, deployments, all the way to RAN. However, there's a lot of innovation on top of the open source plumbing, as I call it. But ONAP is the chosen de facto platform. The edge is completely fragmented this year, but we are bringing a unified edge together across IoT, telecom, enterprise, and cloud through the LF Edge program. And each of these will have blueprints in the various verticals, like automotive, energy, insurance, banking, etc., using several of the technology building blocks. Okay? And finally, technologies and industries are extremely dependent on each other. And we will have major collaboration. So if you're in one project, please don't limit yourself to that one. Expand your horizon and come together as a total team. So with that, thank you very much. And uh, I will be also you know, uh, hosting the rest of the session. But uh, thanks for listening to me.